Hey, what's going on, Air Gunners? It is SHOT Show 2020, and I am lucky enough to have the brand new Brocock Concept XR in 25 caliber here in the studio. We're gonna take a look at all of its new features, to run it over the chronograph, and get a five-shot group at 50 yards right here on the Air Gun Advisor. Well, Air Gunners, I am pleased to present to you the new XR line of Brocock rifles. In front of me today, I have the Concept XR. Of course, their entire line has been changed, but it's still, for each and every one of those air guns, it is the same internal mechanisms here powering them. So this may be the Concept version versus the Sniper and so forth, but it's all similar as far as how they run. Stocks change a little bit here and there, but let's take a look at the Concept XR. You know I just reviewed the Concept Lite, was very pleased with how it ran in 22. Now I have the 25 caliber Concept XR here, and we have a lot of changes that we wanna go over. So first, let's take a look at the first, we'll get to some of the small changes, then we'll talk about the big changes. First, we wanna take a look at the trigger mechanism. That trigger is an improved trigger set up from the factory. I was able to get mine just to one pound of pull on there. You have an improved floating hammer and spring inside. So the spring is a little lighter than the first one. So that again, it makes that cocking mechanism just a little smoother. You have the beautifully redesigned breech block on here, which cuts down some of the edges and makes it a little more sleek. The Lothar Walther barrels that they include in these rifles, they have polished the internals up to a higher level of finish on the inside just to help improve accuracy just that much more. And finally, the one feature we have all been waiting for, the side lever action on the Brocock. And let me tell you, that side lever action is smooth. And if you look at one of the details on it, on the handle itself, they have taken and put almost, I wanna call it like a Swiss cheese. They put like those holes in it. But what are those for? Those are to help with the grip. And if you're out on a hunt, if it is wet outside, damp outside, you may have gotten a little muddy for some reason, it allows you to have that grip for a quick follow-up shot so you're not gonna miss your quarry. And it's perfect for out on the range too. So now that you've seen what's improved, let's take a look at what this package provides. Now, normally when I get an air gun like this, I have multiple weeks or even a month that I tend to take to the range. I shoot it multiple times, not this time. I had about a week and a half before I had to produce this video. In that week and a half, I had one hour to take it out to the range. So keep that in mind as you look at these results. But even with one hour straight out of the box, not adjusting, not cleaning barrels, nothing, this thing was a very, very nice air gun. Before we get to the groups though, let's just quickly take a look at our chronograph data. And you're gonna notice that I was getting 25 uh, regulated shots on high power and that was 40 foot-pounds of energy. And you're gonna get that same number of shots on e any level of power on this rifle. You notice that this rifle still contains the power level knob. And at high level, you're at 40 foot-pounds. The next level down, you're gonna hit 34 foot-pounds of energy, then 26 foot-pounds of energy, and then 16 foot-pounds of energy. And all that is doing is really changing the hole on the inside of there. So you're still using the same amount of air. You're still gonna get the same amount of shots. It just allows you to adjust the power to your specific needs, whether you're hunting outside, the field, or pesting in near, near quarters, uh, allows those opportunities and you to adjust for them at a known power level each and every time. Let's take this out to the range. 50 yard group, you're gonna notice this is a five shot group, 50 yards. This is the first group that I did on the card. And you know, I had to show it because it was great. At 50 yards, just playing with this rifle for just a little bit, under half an inch. And then when I took it out and measured it, it was at 0.422 inches center to center at 50 yards. And that's without me even messing with different pellets, cleaning it, adjusting the trigger or anything. Straight out of the box with the scope mounted. And the scope that I have on here, you've seen it before, it's the MTC Optics Ultra Light Scope and it was only on 10X power. So I wasn't even really zoomed in very far, which is nice to know as a hunting scope, hunting rifle, if you, that was an option you want with this rifle, 
man, it has some good accuracy, an accuracy that you can depend on, just like all the other Brocock rifles that I've had the opportunity to test. So guys, from my perspective, Brocock has taken a great rifle, a great setup, and just made it better. Hey, if you have questions, comments, make sure you put them below. Hit the subscribe button. It's because of all of your subscriptions that I've been able to give them this opportunity to bring you a brand new product on my channel. And until next time, guys, may your trigger pull stay smooth and your pellets fly straight. And we're going to see you right here on the Airgun Advisor. Man.